didn't actually decide I wanted to be a writer. I <laughs> cannot remember wanting ever really to do anything else as much as I wanted to be a writer. My very first, um, one of my very earliest memories is sitting in my dad's um, typewriter. We had this house with this spiral staircase and he had this awesome loft office that was his home office. And I would go up there and I would sit at his desk and I would bang out these stories on his manual typewriter. Oh. Um, I'm dating myself. Um, <laughs> that I mean, this is even before I, I could spell. So they were just like, war, you know, just strings of letters and they were stories. They were my books and I would show them to my parents. And the first one I actually wrote was a Christmas story. So perfect timing. Awesome. And um, sold it, you know, to my to my mom and my dad. And, you know, they each bought a copy. So it sold out. And so that's what I've always wanted to do. I mean, the real question was how I became a lawyer because I was always wanting to write books. So it's, Oh. It's it literally as I'm living, you know, my dream, my original fantasy, which is awesome. I always feel a strong connection to the characters. I think that it's very difficult to write a book and not feel that connection. I am, mm -hmm. I'm not an actress. I would probably hide under the bed if someone told me that I had to perform on stage. But I <laughs> think that to a certain extent, I approach writing like actors approach acting, where you sort of become the character that you're writing. And I think that's right. particularly true if you write in first person, which I do a lot. This this book is told in um, first person, which is I, 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 and also third person, which is he, she. So we've got the heroine's point oh, of view is, is I, and the hero's point of view is he or she. So especially with first person, there's a really intense connection because while you're not actually becoming the character, you're certainly stepping in their shoes in a really um, intimate sort of way. And then hopefully the reader is too. Hopefully the reader's connecting with the character that way as well. I can't write a book unless I know the beginning and the middle and the end. It's like when I'm giving <laughs> writing workshops, I, I will describe that as going on a trip. It's like if I'm going to go to New York City, I know that I'm starting in Texas, that's my beginning right. point, and I'm going to end up in New York. Now, it's quite possible that during the journey, I'm going to go to Los Angeles, and it's going to be this really long, indirect, kind of convoluted journey, but I still know where I'm, where I'm going. And so what I tend to do when I'm, when I'm, before I write the story, I usually write some sort of an outline, even if it's just a blurb that kind of gives me the overall arch, and then I'll kind of follow those plot points as I write. 